my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing the first of many Lush Boxing Day sale hauls I will have for y'all this year. Um, going in into the Boxing Day sale, I was not sure if I was going to even look um, or purchase anything for that matter. I looked the night before, found a few things, woke up the next morning um, bright and early, placed two orders. The first one was just getting the things I really, really wanted to get that I figured were going to sell out fast, and that typically is the bigger gift boxes. Um, once I had that in, I went ahead and placed a second order um, with some smaller items that I was excited for and definitely going to use but I by no means was like I need to get that. Um, I casually looked to see what was in stock at the store near me and I found my favorite stuff yet. So um, today I will be sharing the things I picked up in person just because I do not have the other items that I ordered online quite yet and it doesn't look like they'll be here for quite some time. Um, at least as of right now I think it says like another eight days or so. So um Without further ado, let's just get started. Alrighty, before we get going, if y'all have not heard of the Lush Boxing Day sale, every year the day after Christmas um, at 6 a.m. Pacific time, all of their holiday stuff and more goes on half price. Um, so sometimes this is also Halloween goods, Easter goodies, anything else that they kind of have sitting left over from the year, um, typically with a holiday theme to it, ends up going 50% off, and occasionally you can also find some great year-round items on there as well. Um, my favorite items and the ones that I mostly have to share with you all today are the gift sets that go on sale, and more specifically, the year-round item gift sets. So you will notice that I don't think any of the items in any of these gift sets are actually related to a holiday, which is huge. You can get some of your favorite items um, half price, which is great. So I have quite a few things here for us to go ahead and look through. Um, again, the gift sets are my favorite. You get a lot of goodies in there and it's the best way to get items that, um, again, are year round items that would not be half price otherwise. Everything online goes so fast. It's insane. It's like hyenas or something out there. But if you're looking, um, you can either search by your local store or go in person. Um, I went ahead and placed these items online for pickup at my local store. There was so much more in stock at my local store than there were online. And when I went ahead and picked this up, they had still, they still had a ton left over four or five days after the original sale. So, um, before we jump straight into the goodies, I'm going to go ahead and give you all a little overview of everything we purchased. Um, the first gift set I have is the Splash gift set. There are five items in here, um, some shower gels, scrubs, soaps, and then a shampoo bar, which I was so excited about. We have the Stop Shower Time gift set. Um, again, some more soaps, shower gels, shampoo bars, scrubs, and then shower bombs all items that you would only otherwise be able to purchase full price and then we have the lush life gift set this guy is massive so the box itself isn't quite as big as some of the other gift sets i have but there are there are 16 items in here so i'm very excited to dig into this and see all the fun goodies that we got i also picked up a 16.9 or 500 milliliter bottle of the Snow Fury shower gel, which I think this is the only, oh no, that's a lie. I definitely ordered some other ones. Um, this is the only Snow Fury thing I got this year, I think, which is crazy. The Lemony, Flu Lemony Flutter cuticle butter was half price. This is the one and a half ounce or 45 gram. This again is a cuticle butter smells nice and lemony super thick i believe this traditionally retails for 23 dollars and was half price a great year-round item and then they threw in a sample of the rub 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 shower scrub so i think i want to go ahead and start with the splash gift set Alrighty, so this is what the splash gift set looks like um all of these gift sets typically come in either adorable wrapping or boxes um, and I do my best to try to reuse everything on the top here you have this little tag that is nicely tied up um, this tells you the price as well as everything that is in the box 
So as you can see, there are five items on here. Again, all are going to pertain to the theme of splash. Now, I like to do my best to preserve the wrapping paper as best I can. However, it is already ripped, so um, let's see what we can do. I am certainly somebody that likes to reuse wrapping as much as I can, even if it's wrapping paper. Um, for the most part, even if there are a few rips in it, typically you can fold it in such a way that it hides it, or you throw on some tape and nobody really notices. And at the end of the day, is somebody really going to be ungrateful for their gift because the wrapping was a little bit ripped? I sure hope not. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let me go ahead and open this up. We have a little paper pamphlet here. Again, that says Splash. Once again, listing all of our products, as well as some corn-based packing peanuts. Um, for those of you that did not know, these are great because they dissolve in water. So I'll put these in my bathtub um, in a big puddle of water for quite some time. And they dissolve relatively quickly. Alrighty. The first item we have here is the Dirty Spring Wash Shower Gel. Y'all, I have been obsessed with the shower gel lately. If you have never tried the shower gel, it is a very masculine pepperminty scent and I love it. Um, I purchased three or four gift sets with this shower gel in it. Partly because I wanted more of these and also just because I love the other goodies, but I was so excited um, and I did purchase two gift sets, identical gift sets that will be coming in a later video um, that have this in it just because I loved the products so much. But this would be a great product for literally anybody, I think just because the scent is relatively gender neutral. Now I'm not implying by any means that genders have a scent correlation. However, it is a nice neutral scent. There's no florally, there's no vanilla. Um, again, a nice pepperminty scent. This is 3.3 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters. And it says freshen up with this tingly minty gel to keep your cool in a steamy shower. Alrighty, next up here, we have the Ocean Salt Face and Body Scrub. If I'm being completely honest, this is a product that I've actually never tried before. Um, it says, our best-selling vodka infused scrub for bright, smooth skin. I love so many of Luscious scrubs, but I tend to gravitate either towards orange or rub, rub, rub. Yeah, it's, it's definitely got a more ocean sea-like scent to it. Definitely salty. Um... I'm very excited to use this. This is definitely seems a little bit thicker than some of Lush's other scrubs, but again, I think just the reason I've ever gravitated towards it is because of the scent. Um, I'm very excited to have one to try it out and to let y'all know how I like it. If you have never used any of Lush's products, especially those that come in the black pots, these are called black pots. <laughs> They're little pots that are black and they come in many different sizes. Um, these are 100% made of recycled plastic, and if you bring in five of them, they will give you, if you bring in five empty black pots, they will give you a fresh face mask in exchange, um, just so that they can melt and reuse them again, which is great. If y'all can see there, we've got a really nice bright blue color. Um, again, definitely thicker and crumblier than the Rub Rub Rub, which has another beautiful blue scent, but a lot more um, liquidy. This here is the Outback Mate Soap. This is a great Lush staple to have around, especially if you like bar soaps or maybe know someone that does. And this has lemon seed oil, eucalyptus oil, peppermint oil. Um, so a nice, fresh, clean scent. Again, pepperminty, lemongrassy. I love this so much. I've definitely used quite a few bars of these soaps and I'm always excited to have them around. Um, and of course, if you don't love anything in your set or you feel that somebody else would maybe enjoy it more than you, all of these products make absolutely great gifts. 
We have two more products in this gift set and the first one here is the Happy Hippie Shower Gel. Again, 3.3 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters. It says, get zest for success with this groovy, uplifting grapefruit gel. Now, if you know me, you probably know that I love grapefruit, whether it's candy, the real fruit, anything grapefruit scented. This is amazing. Um, very brightening would be a great shower gel in the morning if you aren't a huge peppermint person. And again, I feel like this is a relatively neutral scent, you know, not quite <laughs> like Snow Fairy where it's so much candy, um, sweetness, sugary in your face. This is a much more subtle grapefruit scent that I feel like would be a great gift for anybody. And last but not least in here, we have the Scenic Shampoo Bar. If y'all have never heard of Luscious Shampoo Bars, they are absolutely amazing. Um, this little guy right here will get you a few months of washes, which is amazing depending on how long your hair is. I have pretty long hair myself and I use these almost every single day. Um, I've used almost every single one of Luscious Shampoo Bars and this one is definitely up there for my favorites. This is made of iris moss gel, seaweed, sea salt, Sicilian lemon oil, has orange flower absolute and jasmine absolute. So a really nice, refreshing, um, somewhat sea-ish, somewhat florally, um, salty scent. I love this and there are bits of seaweed. Those are the green little bits that you are seeing in there. Um, this is a pretty nice size. These retail for about $10. Um, and I think they're so, so, so great for traveling especially. So I'm very excited about this. That was it for the splash box. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. This box right here is the stop shower time box. And as y'all could potentially see, this is not wrapped. So the box itself is the super fun color. Another great thing to keep around, please do not throw these away if you can avoid it. Um, this would be a great way to gift somebody um, an item. You reusing this box and without needing to use more wrapping. This box comes with 10 products, so let's go ahead and dig in. Again, another pamphlet that lists all 10 of our products and their ingredients in case you have any allergies or are curious, as well as some instructions on how to use each type of item that is in the box. If you have never tried Lush's gift sets, it's another great way to try out more of their products. I'm gonna be honest, a lot of the products in here I've actually never tried or used before, and I'm so excited to try them out and see what I think of them. Alrighty. First things first, we have yet another soap. This is the Honey I Wash the Kids Soap, and as the name implies, it is going to smell like a sweet, milky honey. Um, it's got notes of toffee in it. Absolutely adorable. You've got this sort of honeycomb imprint in the top there with these three little layers. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one wrapped up that way. I don't have to worry about it melting or getting other items sticky. Um, this smells great. I highly recommend this product. I've used the soap multiple times um, and I'm a big bar soap fan. So another great gift if you are looking for somebody on a list. And yet another Outback Mate Soap. However, we have a much more beautiful cut this time than the last one um, with this beautiful sort of wave um, type of pattern in there just with the different colors mixing. Our last one was a little less, a little less exciting than this one here. So I'm gonna also go ahead and keep this one wrapped up just because I don't need to open at the moment. Moving on, I see two shower bombs here. Now, I have never actually used a Lush shower bomb. This is the Not Sleepy shower bomb. This here is the Not Sleepy shower bomb, and it says, scent sluggish moods, a pack-in with Sicilian lemon, lime, and Brazilian orange oils for an uplifting good time. Um, I've heard great things about these. You put them on the bottom of your shower and let them steam up and make the steam all nice, scented, and brightening. I'm very excited to try this out. We've got a nice bright yellow one here. Again, this is the Not Sleepy Shower Bomb. And going along with that, of course, we now have the Sleepy Shower Bomb. Envelop yourself in a cloud of soothing lavender, balancing yuling yuling, and comforting tonka before bedtime. If you have never tried a sleep, sleepy product, I highly recommend trying them out. They're so relaxing. 
um, and a great, great gift. Um, anything in their line, especially the Sleepy Lotion, is absolutely amazing. Um, I purchased three or four of these as gifts for family members lately, and um, they all loved them. So I um, highly recommend the Sleepy line if you have not tried any of their items yet. Alrighty, moving on to the bottom layer of products here. Um, first things first, we have yet another Dirty Spring Wash Shower Gel. This is the same size as the previous one, so 3.3 fluid ounces. I'm so excited to have these around for traveling or as gifts. I think my dad would love this and I know my boyfriend already does. And we have a bottle of the Olive Branch Shower Gel, which looks like it really needs a little shake here. This item here has olive oil, bergamot oil, mandarin juice, and lemon oil, and I actually like this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I wasn't quite sure, but it's definitely got a more um, citrusy, refreshing kick than I was expecting, um, and I'm very excited to try this out in the shower and see how the scent changes um, with steam and when it's lathered. So again, 3.3 fluid ounces or 100 milliliters. The final shower gel in this box is the Sleepy Shower Gel. Like I was just saying, if you've never tried a Sleepy product, I highly recommend um, the shower gel and the lotion are incredibly amazing in particular. Um, again, 3.3 fluid ounces. This stuff is great, especially if you were going to be going to bed right after you take a shower. Um, it's really relaxing. Again, lavender is a natural relaxant um, and a great gift. I love having these around, especially the travel size. While I am traveling, I know sometimes traveling can be stressful, um, so it's nice having something to help me just relax, take the edge off, and go to bed a little bit easier. And now we're getting down to the things I'm really excited about, and the first one here is the Rub 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 Shower Scrub. Uh, if you've never tried this, I highly recommend it. Freshly salt, delicate mimosa, and exotic orange blossom. Now watch this. Oh my goodness, is that not gorgeous? So y'all can see it's moving around quite a bit more than the Ocean Salt Body Scrub was. Um, a lot more liquidy. I personally like to use this stuff on barely damp skin, or honestly, leave the lid off for a few days and let it dry out. I feel like it's a lot more effective um, when the sugar and the salt do not melt quite as fast in the water, I guess dissolve quite as fast, but this is a great gentle exfoliant to have around, especially um, for your arms, your shoulders, maybe some more sensitive parts of your body. I love this and I've gone through a few of the largest tubs, so I was so excited to get one of the 4.5 ounce tubs. Um, again, significantly bigger um, than the smaller black pots here, so very excited to have another one of these around. We also have a Dream Cream Body Lotion. We also have the self-preserving version of the Dream Cream Body Lotion in the 1.5 ounce tub. Um, this is a much thicker lotion than some of Lush's other body lotions. Um, I love this. Nice, simple scent. This is a great one to have around, maybe throw in your backpack, your purse, especially if you are not a fan of having a lotion that has a particularly strong scent. Very excited to have this. And again, all these products, at least in this box, are ones that you can purchase year round if you're any, if you're interested in checking in any of them out. Last but not least in this box, we have yet another shampoo bar. This here is the new shampoo bar. You can see the cute little Lush imprint on the front end here, and then the back says hashtag be cruelty free. This is a very strong scent, um, strong cinnamon scent, I should say, as the red sort of implies. I personally love this one. I know it's not everybody's favorite, but it is very brightening, um, awakening, a great one, especially for the morning. I love this shampoo bar, and all their shampoo bars um, have different perks to them, I guess you could say. Some of them are great for deep cleaning, some of them are great for volume. I am by no means a hair care expert and I kind of use them all interchangeably, um, but if you're interested in checking those out, again, all of them have their advantages and their specifications and what they're good for. I'm not quite sure what that is for the new shampoo bar, but 
Regardless, I'm gonna use it, enjoy it, and um, I do love this smell. Last but not least, as far as boxes go, we have the Lush Life box, which um, again, this is huge. 16 products in here, so we have a lot to get through. So uh, let's get going. Look at how huge this box is. Um, we've got a nice, cute little pink ribbon here. They tie these up so tight, which I can understand why, but. So our first box, the splash box, was curated towards the scent splash. Um, the second box was curated towards things you could use in the shower. Now this one is a ton of Lush staples and favorites. So again, the only time I would ever have the opportunity to even use some of these products just because of the price is in this box. Um, I'm so excited. Again, I got a half price. And these are a ton of items I probably wouldn't go out of my way to purchase, but there could be some of my new favorites in here. So let's open this guy up. Holy cow, it's tight. Wow. Oh my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. Um, again, our little pamphlet here that is significantly longer and double-sided this time. The first product we have here is the Intergalactic Bath Bomb, and if you've never seen this before, this is absolutely a lush staple. This is a beautiful, bright pink, blue, and yellow color. Um, very pepperminty, got some glitters in it. I love this bath bomb. Another great um, sort of brightening one if you're not necessarily looking for something um, like sleepy that might put you to sleep. This is a great one to have around. I have used this bath bomb a bajillion times and I love it every single time. Again, such a lush classic and this brings me back to the beginning of high school days. Also, this box smells like the inside of Lush, like the store itself. Th that is what that is what this smells like. In this next little section, we have two tubs. The first one is a 1.7 ounce tub of the Sleepy Body Lotion. I talked about this a little bit before, but this is an absolute staple. We've got a nice lavender color. Again, that beautiful, um, sweet, vanilla-ish lavender scent. Um, one that I definitely will throw in my toiletry bag for when I am traveling or going home. Um, I love this stuff. I use this almost every single night, either that or my Lime Bounty body butter. Um, it is a little bit thinner just because it is a body lotion as opposed to one of Lush's body butters. Um, but this is a great one and um, it's hard to beat the sleepy body lotion. Next we have the Pink Peppermint Foot Lotion. Now this is a product I've actually never tried before. Now this is a product I've actually never tried before. This is a 1.5 fluid ounce tub. Oh my goodness. Bright pink. It's a nice peppermint scent and almost smells like a vanilla peppermint or a very sweet peppermint scent. Sort of reminds me of peppermint ice cream. Um, I'm honestly not the world's biggest fan of peppermint scents just because some of them are so strong and in your face, but this and Intergalactic are great, great peppermint scents if you are not like a diehard peppermint lover, um, but still enjoy the scent to an extent. So excited to try this out. Again, another product I would never naturally gravitate towards, but this could be one of my favorites, who knows. Down here we've got another Lush staple. This here is the Comforter Bubble Bar. Um, and if you've never seen it, Lush makes a giant one of these occasionally. Um, this has cream of tartar, bergamot oil, cypress oil, um, lemonine. I'm not quite sure how to describe this scent, but it is um, a very warming scent. It almost smells like a very subtle minty and citrus scent um, with, I don't know, it, it almost smells creamy at the same time. Um, this is a great product. I'm so excited about this. And my favorite thing about bubble bars is they're a lot easier to use smaller portions of than the bath bombs. Um, so maybe you have a smaller bathtub and don't want to use the entire product at once. Um, you can easily break off a piece of this. Uh, much easier than the bath bombs um, and you can get multiple uses out of one of these. In this top row here we have yet another 
rub 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 shower scrub again the mid-sized pot of this um y'all just saw what this looks like i love this stuff i'm a diehard fan of the rub 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 shower scrub the mimosa scent is to die for and um i'm very excited to have a few of these and some of these would also be great gifting items so we also have an itty bitty tin of the lemony flutter, flutter cuticle butter um again this is a nice bright lemon scent a really thick cream specifically designed for your nails and cuticles which Mine definitely need a lot of work considering how much I'm at the barn using my hands with the horses. Um, I feel like my hands kind of take a beating. So I'm excited to have another little travel size one of these. This is the Karma Soap, um, a pretty classic just red brick of this soap. This has coconut oil, rapeseed oil, Brazilian orange oil, patchouli oil, pine oil, lemongrass oil. Um, a lot of scents packed into here. Definitely a bright, bright scented soap. Um, again, I'm not gonna open this one just because I don't want it to melt onto other products, but I'm a big fan of the Lush bar soaps um, and especially love using them in the kitchen. So um, that might be a great place for a bar soap like this. And yet another travel size of the Sleepy Shower Gel, 3.3 fluid ounces, 100 milliliters. Um, it's hard to go wrong with having a few of these around. Same things here, another the Olive Branch Shower Gel in the same size as before. Um, Y'all just heard me explain this one, but um, I think it's hard to go wrong with having a few extra travel sizes around and these also make great gifts for just about anybody. The next exciting little product here, this is the Wiki Magic Muscles Massage Bar. If y'all have never tried any of Lush's massage bars, it is essentially a lotion bar with some sort of exfoliant on top, whether it be just imprinted in or this one actually has these little seeds inside of it, um, or beans, I guess. So we have cocoa butter, um, a dookie beans, shea butter, cinnamon leaf oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil. Uh, this is definitely a much brighter, more cinnamony scent, but these little beads on your skin or the beans feel amazing. Um, again, a nice natural massage bar um, that will last significantly longer than some of their other massage bars where the little massage bumps are literally just the product molded into a bump so they're relatively easy to wear down where these beans they feel good for quite some time so i'm excited to try this out so i'm excited to have another one of these down here we have the honey i washed my hair shampoo bar um, again, this one has the Lush logo printed into it, and we've got this nice sort of caramel -y color. It smells like honey, toffee, um, caramel. This is one, I don't think I've ever actually tried this shampoo bar. I want to say I've tried almost every other one, but I have not tried um, this one, but I'm excited to try it out. I've heard great things, and it smells amazing. We also have the Rose Argan Body Conditioner. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this one in particular. It smells amazing, don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of Rose, um, and this smells like a sweeter, almost vanilla E Rose. Their body conditioners, in particular this one, I don't feel like it is overly effective. Um, my favorite body conditioner I've ever used is actually the Yognog body conditioner from a few years ago. Um, I felt like it actually lasted and didn't rinse off really quickly. This one, I feel like you almost have to strategize putting it on, get your legs or whatever in the water for literally less than half of a second, and then it lasts. But anything more than a second or two, and I feel like it's just all sort of flushed away but um, maybe y'all have had better experiences or maybe I'm not doing it right so let me know what you think of this down below. This product up here I am so 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 excited for. We've got so many packing peanuts I have to go dissolve later. This is the Blue Skies and Fluffy White Clouds Bubble Bar again. Look at how beautiful this is. 
I have actually never used this bubble bar before and it does not smell how I thought it would. It has a lot of cinnamon oil and it definitely has a brighter, more cinnamony scent than I was anticipating given this sort of nice, gentle, light blue color. Um, I'm a big fan of cinnamon though and I'm very excited to try this out. Down here we've got two more tubs of the Ocean Salt and the Dream Cream. And then last but not least we have the Twilight Bath Bomb. This is essentially the sleepy bath bomb, so um, that same amazing lavender scent, this adorable light pinkish color with some moons and stars imprinted on the top of it. That is it for today's Lush Boxing Day Sale Haul. If y'all are interested in seeing more videos from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let me know what other types of content y'all would like to see from me in the future. Um, I'm so excited to go take a bath right now, start using these goodies, and I will see you all next time. Peace out. Bye.